Hello, all you water signs out there. Welcome to the Astro Flower. And uh, we're going to be going into, in this uh, hopefully short video, I'm trying to get them shorter, but there's so much information. Uh, the short video on um, how the Astro Flower works, uh, how you can look at your sign according to what sign we're going through at the moment. So um, without further ado, let's get into it, bringing all the, uh, all the flowers up. There you go, you've got all the flowers. Just above me here, you'll just see um, Scorpio. Uh, and there you go, I can change it into Cancer. Uh, where's Pisces? There's Pisces there. Hello, Pisces. How are you doing? And there is back to Scorpio. Okay. Uh, on the right-hand side here, uh, on, uh, on the top, on this side, top section there, is um, uh, a Gemini. And this is the season we're going. And just to the no, it's that it's that side. <laughs> just to that side of me is the number petals. It will help you when I'm talking about petals. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, you've got uh, you know petal one, two, three, and four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a bit like a pyramid in a way. Okay, um, so um, let's just without further ado, let's just go into a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> Gemini is obviously a water sign. It's not obviously a water sign. It's obviously an air sign. Blimey. It is an air sign. It's a mutable sign as well. And there is uh, another factor about it which we should recognize, uh, which is the fact that it is a false air sign. Now, there's four false signs. There's um, Gemini, Cancer, uh, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Uh, they're all four signs. So basically, Capricorn is a, a is an earth sign, uh, but it's actually got more water in its flower than it does have earth. And the same as its opposite in the way of Cancer, opposite for Gemini is the same for Sagittarius. Fixed signs are true signs. Uh, they're true to their elements. They are made up of two different types of elements. So as you can well see on Cancer, um, in Scorpio, you have your earth, you have water at the surface, and you have air at the bottom. Uh, Pisces, you are a pure sign. Uh, so you have water that goes all the way around. Okay, and then there's Cancer that we talked about earlier on that has more earth in it, as you can well see with the earth coming through here, the earth coming through here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six petals, six. Um, uh, branches, as it were, that's um, earth, one, two, three, four, five branches, which is actually water. So that's how you differentiate. So um, let's just go back to Gemini. And Gemini in this section here, um, what you'll notice about Gemini is that it actually has, it's a full sign, as I said, so they've actually got a lot more fire than air. So this fire is within them. They tend to be passionate about things. Um, very uh, studious, almost sort of, um, you know, they like planning, following a plan and the process of getting from A to B, uh, that sort of thing. On their relationship side, you can see uh, you have you have fixed signs coming through them. And on that's on their relationship side and their financial side, you hit, they have cardinal signs. And this is that brings in that whole process sort of aspect to the work to... Um, uh, material wealth okay um and what we do is we need to go into a uh, little something i'll put it i'll put it up around my head at some point um and just see how for me um how energetically how the elements work together so um earth consumes air fire consumes earth water consumes fire and air consumes water okay so you get this circular fashion going on um there is also the transition um and every element can be in a transition and within that transition you come out with the other end of the, the cycle where uh, it's actually wood or earth actually can create air uh and then it goes the other way so creation is one way uh uh, consumption or you know yeah consumption is the other way so it's like the yin and yang of the elements basically and we must and we must sort of vaguely understand that 
Uh, in regards to uh, qualities, so we've got fixed, mutable, and cardinals. Um, let me just bring up the whole astro flower. So here you can see the whole astro flower. And where you see the um, joining points of two mutables, I've given them three little dots because that's where the mutability comes in, where it's it can go from one to another. It can play on different levels. You know, um, mutable signs are very versatile, um, whereas cardinal and fixed signs don't tend to be that versatile. Um, you know, it's all about getting moving things on within immutables rather than as fixed signs will be kind of like uh, let's concentrate on this point here and the you know where we are uh, and cardinal signs kind of going oh what's over there sort of thing you know that's that makes the difference between each and every single one of us okay and we can see that playing out through all of this it, all of the solar system um, when you're comparing uh, the energies at the time or the elements and qualities at the time we're going through and your own elements, um, we must take into account all aspects of it. So if we look at generally all water signs, you have this crossing point here in the middle, just below the petal 10. And petal 10 is that also, it's like that ultimate interaction with the world outside you. So here you have Scorpio, where you have cardinal air and mutable fire. Uh, let me, Pisces, you have cardinal fire and fixed air. Cancer, you have mutable and fixed, as you can well see, mutable air and fixed fire. Now, uh, none of them, so like in Scorpio, for example, you will not get the Scorpio, obviously, the fixed underneath. Uh, it only tends to be connected um, round the uh, petals one and petals four, which is sort of our connection to the universal vibration of that. Uh, and it gives us familiarity within that. So we look for that in the, in the vibrations of the universe that is around us. And then, obviously, with cardinals, you get... Uh, with a uh, fix, sorry, you get the mutables on the left side and cardinals on the right. Um, with mutables, you get cardinals on the left, fixed on the right. Um, yeah, did I say that right for part, part Scorpio? Uh, yeah, mutables on the left, cardinals on the right. Um, Pisces, you get cardinals on the left, fixed on the right. And Cancer, you get fixed on the left and mutables on the right. Okay, so. This is, uh, it gives, it brings out the character. But what you will notice as we go through them, let's go back to Scorpio. So here you have the cardinal uh, energies coming in from uh, Capricorn and the cardinal energies coming in from uh, sort of um, um, Libra, sorry. And you have that Earth over on this side as well. Now that is a returning factor that you're going to get in all signs. That point there that goes between the two is always Earth, but it's not always the same quality. And that's what makes the difference between the water signs. But in general, there is a certain process where you use the same elements in order to produce that emotional surface that water signs tend to have. Uh, okay. So um, if we just look now comparing the two, so we're looking at um, Gemini uh, and we look at Gemini and we've got all that air on the outside. Uh, and if we're looking at, say, like uh, Scorpio uh, or water sign, you've got the water on the outside. And as I said earlier on, air consumes water. OK. Um, let's look at this crossing section as well. So in um, Aries, uh, in sorry, in Gemini, you have Earth and water, okay, with all air signs. And the Earth tends to be connected to your or uh, your air on Scorpio, but it's the same as if you go to Cancer, it's on the, um, the airs, it's always connected with the 
uh, Earth of Gemini. And then you have the water of Gemini that comes through, which is connected to the fire of water signs. And there is a difference there here. So, you know, for Pisces, it may be a little bit easier simply because you've got these two that are flowing in the same directions. You've got the same qualities that are coming through. And it should be a little bit more sort of practical for each sign uh, for that, for, for, um, <coughs> for Pisces. Sorry. But for other signs, you've got, you know, for Scorpio, for example, you've got cardinals pushing up against a fixed. Now, fixed and cardinals can, um, they can work very well together. But at the same time, they can work really badly. Um, you know, because you've got one that's trying to go forward and the other one that's concentrating on, on, on the here and now. Or not trying to go forward or just running off. You know what I mean? There's no sign that's better than the other. Let's put it, you know, let's, let's be clear about that. Um, everyone has their strengths and everyone has their weaknesses. Yin and yang and yang. Uh, so you get this repeating factor that goes through all of this. So that's also the same thing. Earth is consuming air and water is consuming fire. So I, I don't know, where did that thumb come from? What? The blazes. Uh, yeah, so um, did anyone see that? Is that me or is it anyway? Technological breakthroughs, but you get this repeating factor. So you got air, air, um, on, on fire at the base uh, of Scorpio, and this is where the changes come into play. And it's with the fire on the base of um, uh, Gemini, so that's transitional stuff. So you're it's what's happening is 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 with a fixed mental state of, of a fixed idea of how to engage with the universe you can pick and choose or play with that mutable fire uh, in order to get the best out of it That's if we go to pisces on the on one thing we should notice is on on this left hand side you have mutable water and mutable air on the uh, left hand side of your connect of the connection of Gemini to the universe, you have fire and water. The water in Gemini comes from you, so you have ultimate control over the situation. You have also your water, which is consuming the fire of Gemini. If we go on to the other side uh, of um, Pisces, you have fire on Earth and water on fire. So. Um, you are again consuming everything uh, on that side there, and you get the same thing on um, on your karmic path where you have your earth is consumed, uh, your fire is consuming the earth, and your water is consuming the uh, fire. So it's just to sort of give you a sort of attitude. Not only you are consuming. Um, Pisces, uh, Pisces, you're consuming like the base of life, your karmic path, your connection to the universe. It's all, you know, going on on the subconscious within your life uh, with during this month here. But on the surface, you've got air consuming your water. So life is actually pulling you out there. Um, so as you've got this control over your destiny through your karmic path and your connection to the universe, Therefore, you should be able to direct that. So as the world is pulling you, sucking you forward in life, you will be able to have, you will be able to give it good direction about what is according to your karmic path. Let's go back to Scorpio here. Um, in the lower sections here, Scorpio, you have um, water on earth, very fertile, and then you have fire. Uh, air on fire, okay? Air is being consumed, um, uh, air is being transformed by the fire. Um, uh, earth is being transformed by the by the water. Right, so it's a very transforming thing. You have the similar sort of thing going on on um, your uh, karmic path in uh, on, on the, your relationship side where you have... Um, your water and your your water from coming in from Capricorn is mixing with the uh, fixed earth of Leo 
And then your heir, of which comes from the Cardinal of Libra, is um, also on the fixed fire of Taurus. So it's very, very transitionary uh, energies within your relationship side. There's a coming of age, as it were. On your financial side, um, you have a, a the similar sort of situation here, but um, now you have um, Earth, which is being consumed by the fire, and your air, which is, um, you know, consuming the, um, uh, is being consumed by the air. So your karmic path in regards to your financial world is you being consumed by your karmic path, basically. So it's an evident path. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I should be doing that. If it's very clear within you, it can be very, very productive. On your relate, on your, on your connection to the universe, um, you have the similar sort of thing. This is transitional sort of energies as well, which we found on the other petals. It's just your karmic path. So you can play with that at least, and you can transition your interaction with the universal energies. Okay. Let's have a look at um, Cancer. Cancer, you have Earth and Air. So this is being um, consumed on one side. And you are consuming, uh, you are being consumed on your Earth, coming uh, through you at the base. But, um, and you are, be you are being consumed on both sides, actually, sorry. So, um, yeah, you're being consumed by your Earth and by your Air, by the fire and earth of Gemini. And because it's mutable, I think you have a good, you listen to it, but you don't have to take it all on board, the connection to the universe, as it were. On your finite, on your, on your karmic mission, you've got a similar sort of thing going on here, but it's, um, oh no, it's not, it's a very, very constructive thing going on. You have the fixed fire uh, in Gemini and the fixed earth in Gemini on your mutable earth and mutable fire. So you have, um, you have a, a, a sort of, you have the space to decide, you know, Gemini is presenting something within your relationship that's very squared off, but you have the possibility to pick and choose again here um, or to, to see how much you actually get into your karmic path or allow your karmic path to, to dictate your destiny on your financial side uh you have fire and water in um fire and earth sorry in um uh, uh, uh in gemini and that earth actually comes from you and on your your petal cancer you have earth and fire fire and earth same sort of situation as what you do on your karmic path. But this is where you now, um, you know, you have a, a, a very much a control over the situation because the earth that's being lent to Gemini actually comes from your flower. So you have a lot more control over the physical destination within your karmic path this, this month. And then after that, on the connection of the universe, so you have like fire and earth in, in cancer and you have uh, water and fire in uh, Sagittarius where the earth the Sagittarius is literally um, is consuming your connection here and what it's doing is is as it consumes it's almost as if like the universe is it's the shoes on the other foot here and it's almost as if like the universe is sort of saying you want to go forward and the universe is sort of kind of going oh well we're not going to give you everything and we can't you know you've got to be a little bit fixed it's you get that mutable factor going on with your interaction with the with the um with the site okay one thing i think is um really quite important is that transition points there that earth that you get in every single water sign which comes out with this earth and because also your surface is being consumed by um Gemini's air, your water is being consumed by Gen Gemini's air, and so is the transitional branches going between your your petals five and seven, and the lower section, well, five and eight and seven and nine, if you like, uh, those transitional bars, that's through your super subconscious to your subconscious. 
this is where you it's it's creating a chimney light effect so all of the work in the month of gemini for water signs is all about your connection to the universe and your karmic path that seems to be the most important thing the other thing as well is the crossing point in between in the middle but you have every single element which is beautiful you have air fire earth and water you can literally create what you want but it's that suction of the outer world which is pulling you towards life in front of you um if you are organized on your karmic path if you're in line with your karmic path and in touch with your deeper self and your connection to the universe you can give it a real direction uh this month if you are not all this consumption of the energies uh, around you will make you feel tired it will make you feel that life is going too quickly um that you can't you've got no control over the situation if you find yourself in that position uh, what you need to do there is to look at your karmic path now i will go into at some point once the studio is totally and utterly finished i will go into some point about what the karmic path is all about but just to sort of say it should be the most evident path for you according to your emotions physical energy you know the trilogy um that sort of thing once it's all in alignment once you get all of those things in their place then it's very easy for you to say oh, it's evident i should be doing that and that's what's going to help you the moment you get into that flow everything will turn on its head and become very a lot easier and like everything in life there's a yin and yang to everything so um you know it's it can play both ways this consumption and production or creation and destruction if you like it can it plays both ways it depends on how you set things up and i think this is the same for every water sign uh, in the month of gemini okay so there you go i hope that sort of helps you to sort of see so when we're doing the because the astro flower is so much more than just tarot cards when we're doing this sort of thing um you should be uh you know if you can get up to speed of seeing the elements uh and understanding a little bit of how they connect to one another it will give you a complete an, a whole new depth to the tarot readings that we do here and give you a lot more help uh, of how you engage your beautiful energy with the beautiful energy of the world and the universe that is around us okay you will obviously be having your um individual gemini reading tarot reading coming out at the same time this is just the background information okay uh so i will see you there it will be linked around at the end of this uh, video or around my heads in cards uh i'll try and do it as we're talking about signs um yeah so you can then go on and see that video uh we also got our lovely stuff over on cymatic tv as well uh, which we do a channel about energy uh i will see you either there or here whichever way i see you it'd be lovely to see you again in the meantime don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy <laughs>